Hello and welcome to my non-adhesive stencil tutorial. Handmade stencils are fun to make and very simple. For this project you will need a heated cutting tool, a glass surface for cutting on, non-adhesive stencil film, poster tack, an image, scotch tape and masking tape, and also some paint. Depending on your stencil you will also need scissors, a pencil, and paper. First, cut your image into a manageable size. I am making many stencils that form one image. Tape your image to the glass, preferably to the back, and then your stencil film to the front. This will make the heated cutting tool glide easily, and the tool won't damage the glass. Grab your heated cutting tool once it's warmed up, and begin slowly cutting out your image. I scribbled in the area I want to cut out, so that it will be easier to see while I'm cutting. Depending on your image, this step may take a while. Be patient and let the tool do the cutting for you. Just guide it slowly. Once you are done cutting out the pieces of your stencil, move your heated cutting tool to a safe place to cool down. Remove your stencil film from the glass and carefully pop out any pieces still connected. Your completed stencils are now ready for use. Grab your poster tack and stick it around the back side of the stencil to firmly connect it to your canvas. Tacking down your stencil will prevent any paint seepage and will keep your stencil steady. Be sure to firmly press your stencil onto your surface. Use paper and tape to protect the surrounding canvas. You may only want to fill in certain parts of your stencil. If that's the case, then just cover the areas you don't want to fill in with tape or paper. I'll be using spray paint with my stencil, however a variety of mediums can be used. I'm also partial to the look of paint applied with a sponge. Gently remove your stencil from your canvas, keeping all of the tape and paper connected to it. This makes it easier to wipe excess paint off of your stencil without making more of a mess. I like to wipe my stencils because I use them more than once per project. You may find it unnecessary to wipe the excess paint off of your stencil. The stencil I just used is considered a positive space stencil. You can also use the part you cut out as a negative space stencil. Using a negative space stencil is the same as using the positive space one although there is no need for any tape or paper. Have fun and play around with your stencils to see what you can do. The possibilities can be endless. This tutorial is one in a set of tutorials leading up to a big project. Stay tuned for the next video, Making Handmade Stamps.